we talk about the trail shoulder in the golf swing, okay? So here's the thing. This trail shoulder moves during the backswing. It's, it's actually internal the whole way back. And then in transition, it transitions to external. And then it transitions back to internal. That's how the right shoulder trail shoulder works throughout the golf swing. That's what everybody says that's measured this on 3D. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. If you look at it from a more of a physiological perspective, it, it makes sense. And it, it, it seems to line up. Here's the thing. When I talk, and I know I'm wearing a sweater, and I'm sorry to those that are only listening, but if I take my hand, okay, there's my shoulder socket right there. If I take my hand and I pronate it, the socket doesn't move. If I take my hand and supinate it, the socket doesn't move. The shoulder that is rotating and the movement that we're talking about is the top part of this upper arm bone that connects into the socket here. It's internal. The joint is inside of a capsule. So the thing is, is that all of these companies, not just Fenris, but Sportsbox AI, Gears, Coalysis, all of them. I have I promise you, I have been on every system that there is. Well, most systems that there is in the 3D space. And I will promise you this. I don't understand, and it's probably because I'm not smart enough, but I don't understand how they're putting a dot on the outside of the capsule of the shoulder and then figuring out what the shoulder is doing.